Are you tired of sifting through endless pages of search results only to find what you're looking for? Today I'm going to share some expert Google search techniques that will make you search pro in no time. First up, we have quotation marks. For example, if you're looking for specific information on the impacts of climate change. So, if I type climate change impacts with quotes. This trick is a lifesaver when you need to search for an exact phrase. Google will only show results that contain that exact phrase. No more sifting through irrelevant pages. Next, let's talk about the minus sign. This is a great way to filter out results you don't want. For instance, if you're interested in learning about jaguars, the animal, not the car, just type jaguar minus car. Google will exclude any results related to the car, giving you exactly what you need. Moving on, we have the site operator. Let's say you want to find all the information on renewable energy, but only from Wikipedia. You'd type renewable energy, site colon wikipedia.org. And bam, Google shows you results just from Wikipedia. This one is a game changer when you want to search within a specific website. Next, the Google search technique is asterisk wildcard. The asterisk wildcard is like a placeholder for any unknown words. So for example, if you type a asterisk saved is a asterisk earned, Google will fill in the blanks with the most relevant words and show you the complete phrase, a penny saved is a penny earned. This is great for finding phrases when you're not sure of all the words. Finally, the OR operator. If you want to search for multiple terms, you can use the OR operator. For example, searching global warming or climate change gives you results for either of these terms. Make sure to use capital letters for OR so that Google knows it's an operator. And Google will give you results for both. This is super useful when you want to search for multiple related terms. All right. Let's talk about the tools feature. First up, we have the time filter. It allows you to refine and filter your search results so you can find exactly what you're looking for. For instance, we want results from only the past year and Google will filter out any results that match this time frame. Next, let's talk about the all results and verbatim options. This feature is a bit more advanced but can be a game changer when you need highly specific results. In all results, Google by default interprets your search query to provide the most relevant results more. But in verbatim, you see results that exactly match what you typed. This is especially very useful if you're searching for something very specific. Now that we've covered the basics, let's take a look at Google search settings. You can access this by clicking on settings at the bottom right of the Google homepage. Let's dive into some of the fantastic tools Google offers to help refine your search even further. First, you can change the safe search filter setting. Here, you make it blur or filter to block explicit content. After that, you can change the language of your search results displayed on the page. And in the last, you can also change your region. This will change your search query according to a specific region. It's all about customizing Google to work best for you. For those who prefer a more guided approach, Google's advanced search page is a must use. All right, so let's dive deeper into Google advanced search. First up, we have the find pages with all these words field. This is like the basic Google search bar, but it ensures that all the words you enter will be included in the search results. For example, if you type in renewable energy technology, Google will search for pages that include all three of these words anywhere on the page. Next, we have this exact word or phrase. This field is for when you need Google to find an exact match for a specific phrase. Then there's the any of these words field, which works like the or operator we talked about earlier. For example, if you want results that include either wind or hydro, just type them here, separated by a space. Now, here's a super handy feature. None of these words. Let's say you want to learn about renewable energy, but you're not interested in fossil fuels. Just type fossil fuels in this field, and Google will filter out any pages that mention them. Next, we have the numbers ranging from fields. This is great for finding information within a specific numerical range. For example, if you're interested in advancements in renewable energy from 2010 to 2024, just enter those numbers here. Below that, you'll see the site or domain field. This is perfect if you want to limit your search to a specific website or domain, like .edu for educational site. Once you've filled in all your criteria, just hit the advanced search button, and you'll see a refined list of search results tailored exactly to what you're looking for. It's like having a supercharged Google at your fingertip. And there you have it. With these basic techniques and powerful tools, you'll be navigate Google like a pro. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tips and tricks, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching.